If you are like most photographers, you spend a lot of time and frustration color correcting your photos in Photoshop. First, you have to figure out which set of tools to use, and then you end up chasing the proverbial tail as one tool screws up the correction you made with another. Pick the Colors one click color technology reduces the color correction task to a single click for most images. This tutorial will show you how simple and fast it is to color correct digital photos using iCorrect one click Photoshop plugin. With an image open in Photoshop, go to the filter menu and select the one click plugin. When one click opens, the auto correction is automatically activated. So all you need to do is click on an area in the image that you know to be neutral. Now, neutral is defined as white, black, or gray, not beige. In this particular case, I shot these birds on a neutral gray background. So all I do is position the eyedropper over the neutral background and click. One click is automatically set to white and black point and adjusted the exposure. For most images, that's all you're going to need to do. Click OK, and the corrected image is saved in Photoshop. What could be faster and simpler than one click? I correct one click also includes a number of additional features and enhancement tools that make your color correction easier. I'll use another image to show some of the additional tools and enhancement features of one click. First, we'll open one click again. We can make the one-click window larger by clicking on the Use Largest Window. Now we have an Enhancements button. We'll talk about that in a minute. In the event that you do not have any neutrals, you can check on the No Neutrals and you automatically then go to the Enhancements window. There's a Sharpen function in one click. We activate it. One click will automatically sharpen the image to the degree set, the default being 6, when you save the image in Photoshop. And you can always undo or start over by clicking on the undo button or the start over button. One click also has a zoom mode, holding down the control alt key and positioning the zoom window over an area and clicking. We'll click on the neutral area underneath the bird's chin. Zoom back out, hold the same keys down, and we'll zoom back. And actually it looks pretty good. But we can make this one a little bit better by clicking on the Enhancements button. A new window opens, and some additional controls are available. The top two, Temperature and Tint, are used primarily in the case where there are no neutrals. If you move these after you have activated the automatic correction, it will cancel the automatic correction. We can boost the brightness a little bit and the shadows and highlights independently. Bring the highlights down just a little bit in this picture. That boosts the contrast somewhat and we can increase the saturation of the overall image by adjusting the saturation bar. We can compare the corrected image with the original by clicking on the preview box. He actually did quite well on this image, I think. So we'll click OK, and the corrected image is saved in Photoshop. We had the Sharpen button checked, so sharpening was also added. We'll open another picture to show how well one click works on people pictures and a couple of final features. We'll click on the white in Emily's shirt, and one click removes the color casts and really makes the skin tones of this picture look quite good. Click on Enhancements. By clicking on the black-white button, we can turn this picture into a stunning black and white, or a sepia. Now, we haven't lost the color. Let's save this one as a black and white. Click OK, and we're finished.
Now, it doesn't take long to master the magic of iCorrect One Click. Adding it to your Photoshop or Elements toolbox will save you hours making the color right. For more information and to order your own copy of iCorrect One Click, go to www.pictocolor.com. Thank you.